His season had a delayed start, but Corbin Rutledge is one of the reasons Farmington takes a 10-0 record into his second-round playoff game Saturday. He's not letting a tough diagnosis slow him down. It was just hard being away and watching my first senior game from the sideline. Corbin Rutledge wasn't with his Farmington teammates when the season started. He was undergoing tests to help him in his battle against epilepsy. He was diagnosed a year and a half ago and thought he had it under control. I started having seizures again when we thought we had it figured out. I really didn't know at the time or really, not really figuring out much of an answer. So while his team was practicing to start the season, Rutledge was seeing specialists in Cleveland, monitoring his brain activity and eventually giving him a plan with medicine that allows him to play sports. That's why we're, we're back on the field. Um, they said live life um, as, as you did beforehand. And yes, we take absolute precaution. Corbin is getting some special encouragement from a teammate because amazingly, Farmington has two players on its roster with epilepsy. Kevin Schultz is the other. We both have different kinds of epilepsy, but we say a lot of similarities and we just give each other advice on how to help each other out. Just always be there for them, notice the little things that maybe other people wouldn't notice when a seizure is about ready to happen. Just, just be precautious. Farmington is on a journey through the football playoffs. Corbin Rutledge is on a journey to live life with epilepsy and still play sports. With his friends. I could tell that some of them definitely missed me and I miss them. Some people may have thought that when Corbin was diagnosed with, with epilepsy, that that was the end of his story and that was the end of his sports career. But at the end of the day, we kind of look at it and say, it's not the end of your story. Honestly, it's, it's the beginning of his story. Neither Corbin nor Kevin have had seizures while playing sports. November is National Epilepsy Awareness Month.